Hey boys and girls, welcome back to Danganronpa Killing Harmony. In the last one, we found out the truth of the outside world and uh, it's not too good. There's nothing left as of what it seems. But we are about to try and save Kaido, so let's go ahead to the uh, hangar and scout it out and see what we can do and hopefully help Kaido out because... We need to get him out of that hangar before anything happens to him, I guess. And it would be nice to have him around again, so... Let's head over to the, um, the existential hangar and try and scout it out, I guess. Hmm. But yeah, this <laughs> this game took a dramatic uh, change after everything that's happened. So let's check this thick metal door, push it on open, and... See what we could do inside the cyber courtyard, because our boy is stuck here. If I keep going, I should reach the hangar. If Kokichi's in the hangar, there's a good chance the Exitials are patrolling nearby. I should be careful. Okay. Nothing. Oh my god, that's a lot of them. Huh? Why is Monokuma in the middle? Monokuma? This is the first time I've seen him in a while. Are the Azishuls protecting him? That's odd. But why now? And why all four of them? Kokichi is controlling them, right? So why would he do that? Wait, if the Azishuls are here, they aren't guarding the hangar. This is my chance. I should hurry but carefully. I don't want to draw attention. That's strange that the Exitials are all in that little section over there, just patrolling around Monokuma. That's very odd. Very odd indeed. The alarm is enabled. Yes, it is. So what can we do? The electric barrier is up too. I can't get close to the shutter, and I only saw four Exitials. I don't know where the other one is. Perhaps inside the, in the hangar. Hopefully I can find a good spot to survey the scene. If I remember correctly, there's a bathroom with a small window there. Oh. Oh, this is where the window is? Hello. Let's see what we can see in here. Okay. There's a window. The bathroom window. Can I see inside from there? I peeked into the small window. And a silhouette- saw a silhouette on the other side. Huh? You see something? Who is it? Oh, Kaido! I'm here to rescue you, dude. Kaito! Or, we're surveying right now, but still. Stupid, Kokichi will hear us. Huh, yeah, don't is scream. Close by? Yeah, is he close oh, by? I'm locked up in this bathroom, but Kokichi's just outside that door. It'll hmm. be bad news if he sees you here. He's got the Exosols with him. Yeah, that's no that's good. True. Wait, so, what are you so doing? he's got maybe one inside there with what them. What am I doing here? Saving you, of course. Yep, we're here to try and save you, dude. Yourself? Um, soon. No, I'm just scouting the place. Tomorrow morning. Yeah, tomorrow morning we'll be in here to say rescue you. All of you? Mm-hmm. It was Maki's idea. Yep, she she uh she likes it kind of. But not Maki. She did everything she could to get me back. Yep, she trusts in you, dude. <laughs> yeah, she that too. She believes in you. Up, no matter how bad things got. Hmm. Y yeah, of course. I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Yep, you are. <laughs> the world has ended <laughs> and humanity has gone extinct. I can't give up. Yep, you can't. It'd be a crappy story if the hero gave up so easily. Very true, honestly. That's right, Kaito. Keep being happy, dude. Worry. I'll do something about all this. Good. Just I keep suppose. it up. Thank you for oh, promising it. So, hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. Okay, find something that you can do to help us. That would definitely help us. There's something I want to ask him. I don't care if it's if he's overconfident or acting. I just want to hear him say it. Don't worry, I'll be it will be okay. Just, I'm happy you guys want to save me, but stay safe, okay? Okay, we can try and say stay. This all is dangerous even if you've got an electro hammer. True. He can just smack us in the face and knock us out. <laughs> uh, are you feeling okay? Apart from the injury, obviously. 
Yeah, true. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, of course. It's nothing. You were anyway, you weren't coughing up blood. Be back soon, so we better end our chat. Okay, we can end our chat. Sure. It was nice seeing you again, Kaido. And hey, Kaido, about what happened with Gonta. Yeah, let's talk Don't normal you? about it. I leave the rest to you. Okay, you're gonna leave it to me, apparently. While I'm gone, you gotta support everyone. Yeah, I can be the leader for now. She can be reckless sometimes. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. You're an impressive detective through and through. Huh. You might Thanks, not Kaido. Reach the truth, but something even beyond it. Maybe. Don't yeah, we can try and find something. We're not alone. Don't yeah, we aren't alone. Yourself. We got everybody. It's only gonna wear you out. When times hmm. are hard, you gotta rely on your friends. I'm still relying on me, you, my dude. Rely on your friends. That's it. That's what I've been neglecting. I believe in you. So I'm leaving the rest to you for now. Thank you, Kaido. Got it, Shuichi. Yeah, I got it. We'll see you soon. Kaido, thank you. Thank you for being my friend. Yes, I understand. Hmm. Why didn't you say that out loud? Loud. Alright, now get going before Kokichi comes back. Okay. I'll get going then. You're right. See you tomorrow, Kaido. Yeah, see you tomorrow, Kaido. We'll be here to save you next in in the next day. After leaving Kaido with a smile, I return to my room. Okay. Back to our room we go. Hmm. There's no point in wandering around. I should stay in my room and relax. I tried to get myself into the right mindset for the final battle. While I was meditating on it. What'd we meditate on? It became nighttime before I knew it. I wonder what the Monokuma Theater is going to be for tonight. Still no Monokuma. Strange. Maybe it's because the Exitials are guarding him? We go at dawn. I won't hesitate anymore. Kaido has taught me. Right. I have to do it. To live, to find a reason to live. I will fight. I spent that night with the thought that nestled deep into my heart. Monokuma Theater time. Don't panic. Just stay calm and listen. Well, if you're watching the Monokuma Theater segment, it's already too late. You kids might not know, but to a 100% cotton mascot like me, hope is well. The thought of seeking young people brimming with hope and killing each other just to survive. Watching their hope fade away. There is nothing more despair-inducing than that. My dear students carrying humanity's hope, betraying, deceiving, and killing each other. Oh, it makes me oh so sad. Oh, how I long to see everyone's despairing faces. Soaked in blood and tears. I've gone and done it. Hmm. I guess you have. <laughs> ding dong, bing bong, or favorite time of the day. Hey, we didn't have a ding dong, bing bong. Er, yesterday. That's strange. Still no Monokuma. Okay. So it's tomorrow morning. It's time to go save Kaido. After that empty announcement from Monokuma, I jumped out of bed. Alright, All right, here we go. First to the dining hall. Oh, I grabbed the, the, grabbed the charged electro hammer and ran out of my room. Okay. Let's head over to the dining hall then. Okay. I wonder, is anyone in here? Nope, I was just wondering. Okay, to the dining hall then. Let's see... If I can get there, that is. There we go. All the way to there, there we go. I keep forgetting that I shouldn't go up when I uh, try and teleport, but go down, because it teleports you to where you need to be. Okay, dining hall. Everyone's in here, right? Okay, I thought no one was in here for a second. Yeah, we're all here. Is everyone ready? Of course, my electro hammer is all recharged. Huh. At that moment, I realized one of us didn't have their electro hammer. Who is it? Maki forgot to charge it? Maki, where's your electro hammer? I don't need it. I'd rather not use a weapon I'm unfamiliar with. Okay. Oh, she's got a knife. This is much better. Uh, um, a knife? Well, I suppose you know best. Hey. Then we're off. Hey. Uh, before that, there's something I wanted to say. I scouted out the hangar yesterday. You scouted out the hangar? Yes, I discovered that Kaido was trapped in the hangar's bathroom. The bathroom, I see. That certainly is the best place to lock someone up. I and I also saw... 
Yeah, the Zishuls. Monokuma by the hangar being protected by four Zishuls. That is very strange. So we have to be careful about that, so we aren't spotted. Oh, I saw that too. What? You saw that? Were you at the hangar too, Kibo? Yes. Yes, I thought maybe I could get through the Kokichi before we carry out our plan. So I went to the hangar last night and tried to talk to him. You tried to talk to him on your own? I'm sorry, I thought it would be preferable to, for him to release Kaido peacefully. How did it go? It went about as well as I expected. There was no response at all. But I did witness a few things. What? What did you witness? We can discuss that later. For now, I'll share what I saw that's relevant to our plan. For now. Shuichi saw four exitials that appeared to be guarding Monokuma. Well, I saw one of them enter the hangar. No. Just one? Yes, yes the green exitial. Okay. The green one was out here before. The green one, I sure saw- I'm, I'm sure I saw the one guarding Monokuma. I... That's weird. I made sure to stay out of sight while I watched. Neither the alarm system nor the electric barrier reacted to the Exitial's presence. Does that mean the alarm system and the electric barrier don't work on the Exitial? That's right. Considering it's where the Exitials are stored, that would appear to be safe assumption. Hmm. Anyway, there's a there are two Exitials in the hangar. We should be careful. We only have one chance. Since this is our only Electro Bomb, we can't afford to miss. That is exactly right. Well then, we're off to for real this time. Let's go. We must end this killing game once and for all and no matter what. Okay. We can definitely do that. Energized and motivated, the group rushed out of the dining hall one, one after the other. Alright, here I go. Is it going to teleport me or what's it going to do? Let's see. Nope, it's not going to teleport me. Okay, I can just teleport myself then. Let's see here. We need to go to the courtyard. And we need to go from the bottom. There we go. To the courtyard. Okay. Everyone must have gone to the hangar already. I shouldn't be late. Yeah, we really shouldn't. How are the Existuals doing? That's my question. They're all powered down. Huh? Monokuma's not here. He should have been protected by the Exitials. And the Exitials. They don't look like they're going to move. What's going on? And three... There are only three of them. There should be two more in the hangar. It's, true. it's just like Kibo said. We should consider ourselves lucky that there's only two. It's all five of them are here. It'd be impossible to execute the plan. Alright, all right, let's keep moving. Can I go check on them? Are they moving? I'll deal with the Exitials later. For now, I need to keep moving. That's strange. They're all not moving. Okay. So they're not in guard mode. Huh. Okay. Hey, guys. So let's open this up. Everyone is here. Let's get started right away. I'm, I'm ready. Are you okay? Maki, are you ready with the Electro Bomb? Hey. Who do you think you're talking to? It's similar to a grenade, except the detonation lags a bit after you push the switch. Once we roll this in front of the shutter, it should disassemble the alarm system. This won't fail. The electro bomb has an effect range of 50 yards and lasts for two hours. If Kokichi's remote control is disabled, we'll stand a chance against the Exitials. Let's stop Kokichi before he gets into the Exitial. But be ready for the worst. We might have to use the Electro Hammers. If he gets into the Exitial, I'll stop him with his hammer. Yeah, yeah you're right. What's, the hmm. matter? What's wrong, Maki Ro? We're all ready to start, you know. That's true. Yeah, right. Then let's let's go. Okay, let's go. Throw the grenade then. Maki triggered the Electro Bomb, then rolled it in front of the shutter. And then... Mickey Bomb it open. Did it work? Let's see. It does work! Huh. The arm system is disabled. Now we can approach the control panel. Shuichi, Shuichi will you do the honors? Alright, leave it to me. Okay. Let's see here. Do we even remember the numbers? Alright, if I hit the control panel with this, 
As I swung the electro hammer, I suddenly noticed. Hmm? What is it? It's all scratched up. The control panel was covered in marks, as if it was damaged by something sharp. Shuichi, what are you doing? Hurry up! Okay. Sorry, I've got it. No time to think now. I aimed my swing at the control panel and brought it down as hard as I could. And down, go down goes the alarm. And the, uh, electromagnetic barrier. The electric barrier turned off. Everyone. Let's go. We all ran to the shutter at once. Right. We won't let Kokichi do whatever he wants anymore. You better be ready. This is it. Right. The remnants of despair end here and now. Okay. After opening the shutter, we burst into the hangar, electro hammers in hand. Okay. Up goes the shutter to end this. To end this killing game. To end this despair. Okay. That's not good. Grainy vision means something happened. What is it? You gonna show us? Whoa. Are you joking me? No! 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 <laughs> Are you kidding me? Ah. <sighs> Are you joking? Are, are you joking? Please. Let it be a joke, maybe, please? What? <laughs> yeah, what? What, indeed. Someone died. Oh. And... It's Kaido. We're already all here, Monokuma. Jeez. This ain't good. This really ain't good. And my favorite character is gone. Just like that. Voyage without passion or dispurpose. Damn. <laughs> Damn. That's... What is this? I can't believe What's it. Going on? I actually can't believe it. Chaos and madness. Confusion and turmoil. I couldn't stay calm. I couldn't keep it in. It was too much to spare. How can he be gone? What is that blood? The body discovery announcement. Does this mean someone is in that press? Uh, who? The only ones in the hangar were Kokichi and Kaido. It must be one of them. What? E either Kokichi or Kaido is dead. Oh, look. That's Ko that's Kaido's sleeve. Those clothes. I can't believe he he's gone. I really can't. <sighs> I wanted to be a sidekick cover just a little bit longer. At least to the sixth chapter. There's they're Kaido's. What did you say? Then the one in the hydraulic presses. No, it's not possible. I would hope so. Looks like you have a lot of twists and turns to sort out during the class trial. That's what the killing game is all about, after all. And so I will now pass out the Monokuma file. Don't say you're getting bored of this, because things are about to get interesting. I hope you pour your heart and soul into this investigation, too. Huh. This really ain't good. H hold on. We have to investigate, so the killing game is going to continue. The killing game will continue. If the killing game is continuing, and Monokuma is still moving, then... It means the mastermind Kokichi is still alive. That's not good. If Kokichi is still alive, then that means the one dead over there is... Yeah, Kaido. Uh, Kaido... No, that's not possible. There's, There has to be some mistake. There's no way Kaido could die. It has to be a lie. Please be a lie. I made a run for the body when... When what happened? Calm down. Maki's hand stopped me. Calm down. 
How can you say that, Maki? Kaido is... I've seen so much death already. Death from of both good and bad people. It doesn't bother me anymore. It doesn't bother you. What are you talking about? More importantly, where's Kokichi? That's right, I don't see him anywhere. He should be somewhere in this hangar. He ran away. He, we need to catch him immediately. He's obviously the culprit. We s Let's split up and look for him. Leave no st stone unturned. No matter how good at hide and seek he is, we can't let him get away with this. No. Wait. We can't leave yet. Okay. We don't know for certain if that dead body is Kaido. We have to explore... We haven't explored all the possibilities yet. If, if it's not Kaido, then who's dead in there? Are you saying it's Kokichi? Then why is this killing game still continuing? What? True. And if Kaido is alive, why hasn't he shown himself yet? Are you saying he's hiding because he's the culprit? Stop it. Don't say such a stupid thing. Kaido being the culprit is even more impossible than him being dead. That's impossible! I don't think Kaido could have killed Kokichi in the first place. He was wounded, remember? Yeah, he was. Actually. And his opponent, the mastermind of the killing game, could control the existuals at will. How could Kaido have k killed someone like that when he was sick and wounded? Yeah, how? No. I don't know. I just- I'm just saying it's possible. And even if Kokichi w that was- even if it is that Kokichi that was killed, that doesn't mean that Kaido is a culprit. So, does that mean that the culprit is one of us? Stop it! Wait, that's impossible! No matter how shocking Kaido's death is, saying weird suspect is, is going too far. Yeah, it is. I understand what they meant. The initial evidence suggests Kaido is dead. But I just can't believe that. Or perhaps I don't want to believe it. I can't believe Kaido is dead. Um... Let's investigate. We need to find the truth here, with our own hands. And reveal that truth in the trial. Tell me. So you went to continue the killing game? Because. A class trial will be held either way. We should investigate. I don't know if we'll find hope or despair, but we have to find the truth. It all starts there. Yeah, he told us to keep going for him. You're an impressive detective, through and through. You might not only reach the truth, but something even beyond it. Yeah, we need to reach for the truth. That's right, I have to do this. To keep my promise to Kaido. You're right. If the class trial is going to happen anyway, then we should investigate. Yeah, but we already know the answer. But we can't die here. We decided to live for hope. But My main concern is how Kokichi will react. If we accuse him of being the culprit. If he just plays dumb and runs away, there'll be nothing we can do. Yeah, there really won't be anything we can do. No, I don't think so. Junko and Ashima cherish the killing game rules. So if the remnants of despair worshipped her, I don't think they'd ignore those. Huh. Then... then it'll be too easy to deal with him. We just need to vote for him during the class trial. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. I understand the others, but why Maki? Why is she accepting Kaido's death so easily? Well then. Well then, let's in review the Monokuma file. Is that okay with you, Shuichi? Uh, okay. Y yeah. Okay. Monokuma file 5. Victim question mark. The body was discovered in the existual hangar. The victim was crushed by the hydraulic press and is unidentifiable. Okay. That's weird. Monokuma 5 has been added to your truth bullet section of your monopad. Yeah, what's going on? Or that's it? That doesn't tell us anything. The identity of the victim is unknown. It doesn't even tell us th that much. It doesn't matter. We already know who the victim and the culprit are. The culprit who killed Kaido is definitely Kokichi. No. Wait, Maki, it's still too early to decide that. Hmm. It's true that the evidence points to Kokichi being alive, but... but... Kaido told me. Don't worry, I'll do something about this. That's a promise. All you guys are working so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. Hmm. I'm... I want to believe in the promise Kaido made, 
I want you to believe in that with me. I refuse to investigate with you. Huh? huh? What? Why? You don't know? You're not calm at the moment. Right now you're acting like Kaido back in Gonta's class trial. <sighs> it's like this at this... It was like this at the time too, wasn't it? You can't fight despair just with just belief. It's not that simple. I guess, yeah. Maki turned her back to me and left. Maki. There's blood going over to the bathroom. That's weird. There's something about the air in here that's making me feel off. I don't know if the electrobomb is to blame, but or if I'm malfunctioning somehow, but I'm starting to feel somewhat sick. It. I don't feel weird at all. It's because of the electrobomb keyboards and electronic appliance after all. Don't call me an appliance. I'm telling you, appliances should go rest outside. Really, I'm fine, but I suppose I'll go investigate outside for now. Okay, see you later, Kibo. Kibo left the hangar swaying side to side a bit. I guess he's about to pass out. Then I think I'll start investigating too. Oh, will you be okay by yourself? I could go with you if you want. No, no you don't have to worry. I'll be fine by myself. If the body's like that, then we don't have to worry about anyone messing with it. So I should be fine for all of us to investigate by ourselves. Okay, see you later, Himiko. Himiko left in a hurry. Yeah, she just doesn't want to see the body anymore. Oh no, she's staying in here. I wonder if Himiko suspects... Suspects who? Everyone. Because if there's fewer of us, there's fewer people who could be the culprit, right? Of course, it's obviously Kokichi, but like you said, there could be another possibility. Maybe that's why what she's thinking. I'd suggest that possibility. The culprit might not be Kokichi or Kaido, but a third party. Anyone could be the culprit. We were united toward the hope before all this, but now we were spl now we're split up. Could it be that's why Kokichi killed Ki Kaido? To disrupt our harmony. Because if not, then what reason would we have to kill Kaido? Maybe that's what this class trial is going to be for, too. The reason Kokichi is going to hold this class trial might be to separate us. To separate us. In the end, we were all gathered around Kaido. He was the one keeping us together. If that's why he killed Kaido, then we're completely caught up in his trap. Hmm. True. This is all part of Kokichi's plan to separate us. This is exactly what he wanted. We're split up. I can't get anyone to cooperate with the investigation. And we don't have much information to go on. The Monokuma file has been some help, but it's still not enough this time. No point standing around complaining. I'll just have to do it. Time for time to start. To solve this mystery and find the truth behind it. I'm going to begin the investigation. Investigation starts. I'll start here. Alright, I'm going to inspect every single piece of evidence here. Okay, the first thing would be the um, piece of clothing coming out of the uh, squisher. <laughs> as I'm now what I'm going to call it. There's a sleeve sticking out of the press. It's definitely Kaido's coat sleeve. In that case, the victim must be... I don't want to do it, but I'll have to raise the press to inspect the body. Okay, uh, let's raise the press then. These controls move the hydraulic press. It can go up and down and stop. I should be able to use the up button to raise the press and check the body. I don't want to see a crushed body, no matter who it is, but I have to do it. I have to know. I made up my mind, took a breath, and pressed the button. Huh? It's not moving. I pressed the button a few more times, and the press still won't move. Strange, it moved when I pressed it last time. After looking at around the press, I found... The power cord is cut. I see, there's no power, so the hydraulic press won't move. The, this can't be a coincidence. The power cord was cut on purpose. This must be the work of the culprit. Hydraulic press was, has been added to your truth bullet section. Okay, so we can't pick it up. In that case, we won't be able to check the body. I'm honestly a little relieved, but I shouldn't say that aloud. I should take another look at the controls. There must be some clue here. In addition to the control buttons, there's an emergency stop button. 
The press would have been stopped instantly if you used this. Well, if the culprit were planning this murder, they'd have no use for it. Safety notice. What concerns me more is the safety function. That's right, the hydraulic press should have been had a safety function. If the infrared sensor detects a living thing, the press stops automatically. Well, it didn't stop when Kibo tried before. Well, he was a robot, though. So it thought of him as a robot. If the sensor detected a person, the safety should have stopped the press automatically. Stopped automatically, huh? That is strange. Safety function has been added to your truth bullet section. That's odd. Can we look at the cut cord? No. How about the bit of clothing? Can we add that to our truth bullets? There's a sleeve sticking out of the press. It's definitely Kaido's coat sleeve. In the ca that case, the victim must be. No, that hasn't been determined. I need to investigate further. It looks like the left sleeve sticking out of the hydraulic press. Only the sleeve is sticking out. No part of the victim's body is visible. Were they crushed completely so that the sleeve only remains? Hmm, what is this? The sleeve has a single hole in it. A hole in the sleeve? What could this be? Kaido's coat has been added to your truth bullet section. That's strange. He has a hole in his sleeve. I suppose that's about all the information I can deduce from the hy hydraulic press. I can't check the body, so I don't have many clues to work with. I'll have to find more clues elsewhere. Is the existuals in here? Yes, they are. Both of them. That one's closed, though. The red existual is completely still. Shuichi, it's dangerous there. If you go near that thing, you might get torn apart. No, no I shouldn't move anymore. Not without the Mana Cubs or Kokichi. Yeah, so it's just a pile of scrap then. Hey! Jeez, don't scare me like that. Maybe I should just tear this hunk of junk apart with my magic. Oh. Huh, but I suppose that if Kokichi was alive, he could move in at any time by remote. Hey! Why didn't you just say so sooner? That is if Kokichi is alive. But that remote control Kokichi has for the Exitials. What is it, exactly? Does he have that because he's a mastermind? No clue. The Exitial Green has its hanger open. There's an Exitial right in the middle of the hanger. The hatch is open as well. The cockpit is exposed. So this is how it looks on the inside, huh? It's small but big enough for one person. So people can sit inside them. So why can't Monokuma control it? Huh? The hatch is open. How strange, only the Monokubs can turn off the electronic lock. And open the hatch. Huh? Only the Monokubs can open the hatch. Normally the Monokubs are the only ones who can pilot the Exitials. Normally being in the keyword. Because the electro electrohammer thingy, the electronic lock is all screwed up. Have you mentioned this to anyone else? Nope, just one asked me about it earlier. And even if I had been asked, it would have been relevant information to you, uh, you anyway. Okay, an electronic lock on the hatch that only the Monica Cubs could disable. Which must be why only the Monica Cubs can control the Exitials. But if you could control disable the lock, you could control the Exitial. Hatch's electronic lock has been added to your truth bolt section of your monopad. Hmm. Okay, so can we look at the, this one then? Completely still. So far nothing, okay. How about the washing machine? This have anything to do? This looks like a car wash. I imagine it's for cleaning the existuals. It doesn't look like it's been used in a while. I don't see any clues. Okay, so that has nothing. Let's see here. What about the, yeah, traces of blood? Okay. What is this? A blood stain. There's a faint trail of blood leading to the press, a swipe pattern as if dragged. Huh. It looks like as if it's coming from the bathroom. That's weird. The, this blood stain suggests something was dragged from the bathroom to the press. Swipe pattern blood stain was added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. Okay. Uh, can we go inside the toilet then? This is the bathroom. Now that I think about it, yeah, this is where uh, Kaido was. No, I'm locked up in the bathroom, but Kokichi's just outside that door. 
Hmm. This is the place where Kaido was imprisoned. Kaido might have left some kind of clue here. Uh, no, he didn't leave anything. He might not be dead. Anyway, I should investigate inside. Okay, yeah, we can check inside. Let's see. So far, nothing. Hmm. There's a crossbow in here. That's strange. A crossbow, this is... Yeah, the one that Kaido learned how to make. One of the crossbows from Maki's lab. How did it get in here? Why is this here? Yeah, why is it here? Crossbow's been added to your truth bullet section. Okay. There's some arrows here. So this must have been... Oh, he did have a hole in his jacket, so he must have been shot with one of these. There are arrows on the floor of the bathroom. Three in total, and a blood on all of them. He's been shot with all three of them. Jeez. This... What is this? What happened here? Yeah, what happened? Three arrows has been added to your truth bullet section of on your... Er, has been added. There's a black case as well. Oh, this case. Yeah, that's what holds the crossbow, right? Or the pieces, at least. Oh, what's in that black case over there? As if backing away from the conversation, Kaido headed to the far shelf. Okay. What? It, what's in it? Is it some kind of weapon? Uh, probably. This is the case from before, right? Yeah. Large black case has been added to your truth bullet section. What's this? Glass bottle. Looks like a poison. There's a small b bottle in the corner of the bathroom. It's empty. I feel like I've seen this before. The label has blood all over it. I can't read it completely, but I can see what the word- I can see the word poison. And if it is poison, the bottle- this bottle must be taken from my lab. I don't know who brought this here, but I de it definitely has something to do with this case. Small empty bottle has been added to your truth bullet section. Okay. Traces of blood. A blood stain. A puddle of blood in the center of the room, and a swipe pattern from there to the door. What could this mean? He, he was dragged from the bathroom to the press? Blood stain in the bathroom has been added to your truth bullet section. Okay. Anything else in here? Uh... The window. We can look at the window real quick. A small window for ventilation. This is... Yeah, the one we saw him through. The same window from before. Definitely is. It's a small window and it doesn't open all the way. No one would be able to fit through here. Hmm. I suppose if someone could fit through, Kaido would be have escaped by now. Perhaps it's too small for one person, but an object could fit through. Oh. Okay, so that's why Maki said it could- um... Okay. So that's, that's why Maki doesn't want to believe that Kaido could have done it. Because someone could have th uh, thrown him a weapon. So Kaido could be the killer? Huh. I don't see Kaido as a killer though. I still think Kokichi's trying to make us think that. Bathroom window has been added. Alright, I finished investigating the bathroom. There were more clues than I thought there could be. And one in particular is concerning. Yeah, that window in the black case. Why is the crossbow from Maki's lab in here? And the poison. And the three bloody arrows. Those arrows were are definitely for the crossbow. But why are there three why are all three bloodied? Yeah, why are they? And that bottle of poison, what could that have been used for? Uh shooting somebody. There's still so much. I don't know. This case looks like it's going to be tricky. Definitely so. I think we got everything in here. So let's head out of here. Where else could we go, though? Hmm. I don't have an exact area we could- The existual just moved. Why is it moving now? So, Mugi, what's going on? The Monokuma file this time barely has any information in it at all. Yeah, it would be much use- It won't be much use to us. It's so useless, he probably shouldn't- have been even gone out on it of his way to give it to us. I want to know why the existual has moved. Hello, Monokuma. It's fine, it's fine. The A mascot's appearance at a murder scene brings a sense of relief and peace of mind. Well, he, he popped out. What an intention, Hog. Of course I want attention. I'm the mascot for crying out loud. 
And yet, I have appeared a few ta fewer times in plain Jane Sumugi over there. It'd be false advertising if I didn't appear as often as I can, you know. I guess, yeah. Huh. Advertising? What advertising? No. Ignore it. Let's just focus on the investigation. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, this Exitial's moved. There's an Exitial right in the middle of the hangar. That's strange. The hatch is open as well. The cockpit is exposed. So this is how it looks on the inside, huh? It's small, but just big enough for one person. But only the monocubes can disable the hatch's electronic lock. So only they can control the Exitials. But on the other hand, if you could disable the lock, you can control the Exitial. You want to sit inside it? <laughs> Why is it moved? Or was it like that to begin with? I, I had a feeling it was inside the... on that little uh, thing over there, but I guess not. What, oh, what's this? Operational panel. Hello. What are you? It's a panel that controls the alarm systems and electric barrier. I don't see any reason to turn them back on, though. Hmm. Okay. What's this over here? There's a light over here. Nothing. Painting machine. I guess we can look at the painting machine. What does that have to do? It looks like a machine used to paint Exitials. It smells kind of like paint thinner. It looks like the same as before, probably not related to this case. Okay. So nothing there. Nothing new. How about the hydraulic press itself? The hydraulic press is down, and there's blood in the area. If we use this, lift to, uh, uh, this to lift up the hydraulic press, we should be able to check the body. But the power cord has been cut. The press won't move. In that case, we won't be able to check the body. Okay. So, we're done here then. I think there's still things to investigate. Let's see what Himiko has to say then. You got anything for us? What? I don't want to talk to you right now, okay? The way you are now, you might start accusing people because you can't believe Kaido's death. No. No, that's not. Yeah. I don't want to hear your excuses. Or anything else. Just don't talk to me. If you just if you keep bugging me, hey, huh? I'll give you an afro hair you afro hair with my magic. She's awfully stubborn. Is she that suspicious of everything now? Or is there a reason she doesn't want to talk to anyone? It's just like Tenko again. There what else can we do? There's nothing else in here. Um I don't see anything different. Hydraulic press. Bit of clothing. Traces of blood. Washing machine. What else can we do here? It leads down somewhere. But that's not important now. Let's see. Existual green, existual green. I'm looking for something different that we haven't had before. Toilet, washing machine, press operation panel. I should be able to press the button to raise the press the button. The power cord is cut, but no power of the press itself won't move. I'm certain that this was done intentionally. This must be the work of the culprit. In that case, we won't be able to check the body. In addition, the control buttons, there's an ex emergency stop buttons. The press would be, have immediately stopped instantly if you use us. While the culprit was planning this murder, they'd have no use for it. What concerns me more is the safety feature. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything stopped automatically, huh? Huh. I don't have anything that will help me here. S still something? Really? I don't see anything. Uh-huh. Blood, blood, bit of clothing, hydraulic press. Huh. I really don't see anything. What about the traces of blood? There's a faint trail of blood leading to the press. The swipe pattern is dragged. Looks like it's coming from the bathroom. That's true. This blood stain suggests something was dragged from the bathroom to the press. That's about all I can investigate here in the hangar. Oh, I just had to look at the blood again. There are still questions. The truth is still far out of reach. I, guess I still can't deduce who the victim is. 
I need more clues. I should investigate other areas. I should start with the areas around the hangar. Huh. Okay. So let's just get out of this room then. Wow. What a... What a chapter. Jeez. What a chapter. The alarm system is off. I, it must still be affected by the electro bomb right. for the next two hours. I should investigate this place thoroughly. There must be some clues around here. Hmm. Yeah, there definitely has to be some kind of clue. So, let's look at this uh, panel real quick and then we'll end this one off, I think. This is a control panel that controls the electric barrier protecting the hangar. We hit the, it with a electro hammer, so it isn't operational right now. But what's with all these scratches? Yeah, that wasn't there before. That's right, what are these marks here? It looks like as if something struck by... it was struck by something sharp. What would cause these? Oh wait, how were they even able to damage this in the first place? Getting near the control panel should cause the alarm to go off. Yeah, you have to turn off the alarm before you can get close. How did the person who did this get near the control panel? Hangar's front shutter has been added to your truth bullet section or monopad. Huh, strange. Very, very strange. But, as always, this is where we'll be ending this one off. So, as always, keep being spooky, and thank you for watching, and have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace out. Hey guys and girls, I just want to say thank you for watching today's video. If you liked everything you saw today, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe and hit the bell notification. If you want to see more, thank you all for watching and peace out.